Hey guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. Today I am in the application ScreenFlow. I am going to be showing you how to capture a video recording of your screen. I'm going to be showing you how to capture exactly what you are doing within your desktop you can uh, adjust the width and the height and what part of the screen you record you can add text boxes you can add a zoom effect on your mouse and you can do all of this within ScreenFlow. I will put a link in the description box below in where you can buy ScreenFlow and uh, once I do that uh, you can just click on that link and purchase it there now let's go ahead and get started what I have opened up here is something that I have recorded previously of uh, just a little test recording that I wanted to show you guys kind of what the interface looked like uh, the icon for ScreenFlow looks just like this right here a video camera here with two wheels with film above it uh, you can download that in the Mac App Store I'll actually put a link for that below as well uh, so once you get done recording you'll see this little interface here but I'm going to show you how to record uh, first and foremost how you record so uh, if you see this little icon right up here uh, in the top corner right here it's a little video camera with a circle inside of it you can click on it and you just click record obviously I am recording now so it's it's grayed out but I can stop the recording by just clicking that button right there or pause it by just pressing pause right there so screen flow can do so many different things. Uh, it's what I'm using right now to show you guys what I'm doing. Uh, and once you have your recording just like you want it and you're done, you'll go up here to this little video camera icon, press stop record, and boom, you're done. It's ta it'll take you straight to this interface right here. If you'll look down here in the bottom half of my screen, you will see two little tabs. One of this, it, one of these are the audio and the other is the actual screen recording itself okay now once I have these two things I can press uh, the space bar to play here so as you can see here on the screen where my mouse is moving around up here on the uh, interface and I'm going to iTunes and all that stuff I'm recording myself going to iTunes and I'm gonna go ahead and pause that now um, by pressing the space bar you can go and edit and you can even go in here and trim certain parts let's say you uh, you, you, you don't want them you don't want the the people that are watching your video to see you press stop record well you just click on the end of the video uh, footage right here and drag it left and that'll actually trim that off for you you can do all of that within ScreenFlow now let me show you some of these things you can do right up here okay uh, video properties I can actually go in here and add a video action okay and you can see a little yellow icon come up down here and I can actually go in here and I can go ahead and, and zoom in to an area uh, I'm gonna go ahead and or you can zoom out whatever you want to do there uh, and then I can actually uh, you know do whatever I want to with the screen I can rotate it I can add a reflection add a shadow uh, so that's your video cues now I'm gonna show you some audio cues uh, audio properties you can click on the audio here let's say it, your microphone was a little hot it was too loud uh, you want to go ahead and and take the volume down for the specific track you can do that by adjusting it here you can actually uh, apply a ducking effect if you do not know what that is you can add music in the background uh, I'll show you how to add media here in a second and you'll have the music kind of playing softly while you're going uh, you'll, your voice will be in the forefront that's a very very big feature to have and I use it a lot the next thing that I want to show you is the next feature here, which is screen recording properties. I'm going to go ahead and add one of those now. Let's go ahead and add a screen recording property. And then once you do that, you can actually zoom in, uh, make your mouse pointer bigger, uh, you know, the click effect. You can add a radar click effect. Whenever you click, there'll be a little uh, circle around it. You can actually add um, sounds on the clicks that you have. So if, once you click, if you want a sound to, to happen, you can add a sound here. You can show the keys. So if I type something on on the screen it will show on this video recording what I am typing uh, the next modifier is the uh, call out properties and what this is is for your mouse and I'll show you what that is here let me get pull up a, a screen here I'm gonna go ahead and add a call out here uh, it creates uh, a focus point on your mouse and you can actually zoom up and show what your mouse is hovering on you can actually add a border to that you can make the border bigger uh, you can outline it with a specific color uh, you can add a little shadow effect to it you can do all kinds of, of, of really neat stuff uh, the next one is annotations uh, I'm gonna show you exactly what annotations are uh, annotations are things like this right here I'm gonna go ahead and add an annotation uh, it's like an arrow so let's say I want to add an arrow I'll go here I want to point at that that album right there you can click in drag annotations you can do arrows circles, squares change the color thickness anything you want to do and the next one obviously is text you can add a text box 
Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and add a text box now. Uh, once you add a text box, let's say I'm in iTunes. I want to go ahead and let people know this. Okay, I'm in iTunes. You can drag that wherever you want it. Uh, and you can change the color of the font, the background, all kinds of good stuff. Uh, and the last thing you can do is add media. You can add, uh, you know, go to add media down here. You can add all kinds of songs that you have in iTunes. You can add other recordings that you've done if you want to mix them together. Uh, all sorts of really neat stuff. Um, so that is how I record my screen uh, on my Mac. That's how I get my video recordings of all of these tutorials. I really recommend ScreenFlow. It's a great application. Uh, I cannot remember what it costs right now, but I'll put the price in the description box below in the link how to get there to the App Store. Uh, and guys, I really recommend ScreenFlow. I am not getting a penny to recommend this for you. Uh, this is just an application that I have used, and I really enjoy it, and I think you will too. If you've got any questions about how to record your screen or any questions about screen flow, screen flow specifically, put those in the comment box below as well. I'll be more than happy to help you. And guys, as always, thank you so much for watching my videos. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and like them. my videos. It really helps. And I will see you guys next time.